Embark on a cozy open world survival journey inspired by ancient China's heritage. Gather resources, cultivate crops, build your dream home, and then defend it from marauders. Welcome to Pathless Woods. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm very excited for this one today. I've got an awesome cozy game to show you. This one looks like my cup of tea and I think you guys are going to love this one as well. Pathless Woods, this is a sponsored video. I've teamed up with the developers because this game is just released today on the 3rd of April as you are watching this and it's my job to showcase it off to you guys. There'll be a link down below in the description so you can check out the game for yourself and also in addition the creators of Pathless Woods are actually giving away exclusive Steam keys to the full game which is a perfect opportunity for you guys to play this game if you can't afford to buy it but you really want to try it yourself all you have to do is simply head over to the pathless woods twitter page there'll be a link down below in the description and yeah you can have a chance to play the game for free just get involved with the excitement to stand for a chance now you can actually team up with friends in this game to explore and uncover a world together with up to three of your friends so four of you and i highly recommend that you do do that because the game is even more fun when you're playing with friends but because I am a lone shark I will be doing this solo today just to show off the gameplay to you guys we love cozy games so every time I find a new one or come across one I'll happily dive into it and give it a go hey wake up uh, what is this place hold down the right mouse button to move the camera around oh there we go okay the game looks gorgeous so control and scroll you can kind of zoom in zoom out I'm getting some kind of uh, breath of the wild vibes here right I need water you're not in good shape. Grab a bite to eat and keep yourself hydrated. So we do have food and hunger down here. Like I said, this is survival based game. So you will keep losing HP when you are hungry. Uh, restoring stamina reduces hydration. So there we go. A few inches later. So we've just had to play a little tutorial to get familiar with it. And now we can start a new game. You can have friendly damage on or off as well. And you can choose how many people you want to play with. Uh, like I said, I'm doing this solo, but you can play with up to four of you. Highly recommended. Uh, we'll go local, not online. Maybe we could play this on stream and you guys can join. But we'll just go to um, Sharky's World. Why not? So, does the world seeds... I think they're randomized. Let's just randomize a few times, see what we get. So, let's go. We are hosting a game. We can select a character, male or female. Oh, look how cute they look. We'll go with male, of course. And like I said, there's, they, you can have four of you there as well. So, he has iron body. She has tree blessing. Appear in order at a glance, this robust young man has the ability to instantly stand out in a crowd. So I'm guessing there's going to be more characters as well to choose from, which is awesome. Kind of like the green, I'm going to go with that. There's different outfits as well, but we can't quite have these yet, they are locked. And here we go, we have generated into our new world. I'm guessing this is all going to be different every time you play. And uh, we can kind of get straight into this, we can forage things. We've got some radish here. So like I said, it is kind of like a survival game as well. So you're going to have to do crafting. You can build a base and a house. You can do some farming. You know, we've got to get food and drink. But all the recipes that we're unlocking because we're gathering the resources. Which is kind of cool. What are these red things here? Flint. Well, we're going to need that. And we can also drink from these little ponds as well. We'll have a little drink now. We've got full hydration, so we're fine. But this looks awesome. Right, let's get all these items. I could do some crafting. What's this thing here? A rage stone. You requires physique to reach 103. Wow. So we've got quite a lot of things to get started here. It's, it's like in abundance. I'm not sure if that's just the demo or if we got lucky. But it does feel like we've got quite a lot of food and stuff here. Lots of places to drink. So it doesn't seem difficult. But we could talk to this guy here. It's called Tudigong. A uh, safe arrival. You would have been stuck back there if the rest of your life hadn't helped you. What is this place? I was going to take you out, but I caught wind of your burning desire, so I brought you here instead. Rest assured, you've landed in the right spot, and I've chosen a safe haven to touch down. Take a gander at your surroundings for the time being. So we have a little quest here that we've got to do. It says investigate the surroundings. We've got to collect some straw mushroom and ripe yams, which we've already done. So now we've just got to find the mushrooms. Let me see where they are. Let's explore. Ooh, a physique's 101. Let's go. We've also got some clay here. Do we need a tool for this? Yeah, we need a hoe, which I don't think we have. There's a bag. We've got no tools whatsoever. I know we're going to need some of that rope, so I will gather this fiber, rush, whatever you want to call it. And then we can press Z, and look, we can do all of this crafting. And that's all already given us loads of new recipes, because the rope's going to be used for quite a lot of stuff. So, let's make some tools. We'll do the hoe. I'll do the axe. We'll stone pick. 
I also would like a weapon and a torch. We just need some more rope, so let's keep doing this. Torches may fail it burn longer. Okay, we'll do that one. And then we'll get the wooden club. So we've now got a weapon. A flint knife as well might be quite handy. So already, we're doing quite well with the um, the tools here. But look at this, we've got... Requires water. Tea. Oh, nice. Workbench. Wooden armor. If we get some more wooden rope, I can make some armor. So if we're up against some enemies, that might be quite important as well. So I want to sort out the uh, the hot bar here. So I want to get the axe in number one. Did we get a pickaxe? Yeah, it's an amp. I must have not. There we go. And then let's put all of our ingredients, our wood, flint, you know, stone, uh, in our inventory here. We've actually got some eggplant seeds and radish. So if we want to do a little farm, that's going to be quite handy. You can split, you can destroy, you can carry items. This feels so, so, so smooth. I really, really, I love games like this. And I've not played one in quite a while. Uh, it's a bit too warm. So do we have weather? Look at this. So we have spirit, digestive power and physique, nutrition. It's a bit too warm. I don't know if what we've got to do with that. I think it's the weather. You see up here, um, blazing day. It's 37.4 degrees. This is crazy. There's quite a lot to this. We could press X apparently. And this is... Oh, this is like building building. So we can make a workbench. All of the uh, the floor, the roofs. We can get a storage box. A little campfire. I'm guessing it's going to get dark. It's like midday right now. We could do with a shelter or something. So our water is hydration 67. But it's hot. you know, you got to remember it. As cozy as this game is. We've got a building recipe there. Can we use that? Wooden fence and stuff. Nice. Yeah, as cozy as this is. And awesome it is just to get lost in the game. It is a true survival, so you've got to be really careful because you can easily, you know, die. Is that a mushroom that we needed? I think it is. Seems quite safe around here and we can also find food. Now we need to find a place to rest. There we go. We've got the flint knife to cut the common rush. Yep. We've got some kind of herbs there. Now look how dirty that water looks. You don't want to be drinking from there. Right, to craft. Yep, we've already got the flint knife. We've also got here a straw hat. That might be quite good. Sun protection, of course. We need a little hat. Let's go and get some more. Are they chickens? Oh my god. Got another mushroom. God, you can easily get lost in this game. That heat is really hurting, so um, let's go with the hat. We can also make a straw bag. Small bag that doesn't hold much. Right, can we wear this? We're oh, look, the hat is on. Oh, there we go, guys. That has took our temperature down to comfortable. 28 degrees. It's not in the orange now. It's in the, the perfect. So I like that. All right, let's get the wood. We'll get these mushrooms, which are obviously spawning on logs. Look at the physics. You can actually move the logs. Right, as food is 43, hunger 47. So, yeah. These materials should make enough. Now, let's make a straw bed roll. Okay, we need one more rope and more of that. Okay. We're going to need a lot of rope, it seems. So, let's get as much of this stuff as possible. I'm also going to have a drink here in this little pond get the radish too which seem to grow near the water which is nice so does this all these like resources do they spawn or once you take it you take it you know is it is it kind of one of them games are you limited to what you can right well, we've got the pickaxe oh we've got excellent nice that's so cool yeah I'm, I'm interested to see if all this stuff keeps spawning i know these some of these yams grow antidote herb the common detoxifying herb, also known as mumeric, has certain detoxification effects. It typically grows by water ponds. So this actually makes you cold. So if you're too hot, you can take one of these and it will cool you down, it seems. It seems to give you minus 14. Everything has shelf life as well. So things will expire in a few days, as you can see. Five days, six days, they will, they will rot. So you need to kind of eat the things quickly. Look at this, we've got some big stones here. Was that... We've got some copper ore. Nice. We're going to need copper ore. Maybe we can... Yeah, we've got the furnace blueprint right there. That means we can make better tools. I'm actually going to get some more wood. I feel like we're going to need more of this stuff. So, get the axe. Let's fell the tree. So, you can do the easy one here. Boom. Boom. I like that. So, we better eat. So, let's have a look what kind of food they give us. So, we get plus 16 hunger and nutrition. Nutrition is quite important, it seems. Which, if you go to your uh, digestive power and physique here, we've got 102. 
This is going down digestive power. So the more nutrition you have, this is going to go up and it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you perform physically better. I love that. That's such a good feature. So as you can see, the arrows are going up now. Nutrition is slowly gaining because we've just had some food. So we're going to be stronger. We're going to be... I should have looked at their mushrooms first, actually. Are these safe to eat? Yeah, they give us digestive power, nutrition, and hunger as well. So these are quite good mushrooms. They're not poisonous. I should have checked that first. That could have been a catastrophe. I could have got poisoned straight away there and maybe died. Is this like a little farm? Oh, I didn't even need to craft a hoe. There was one right there. Um, a stone hoe. And a wooden bucket. You can fill this with water. Hold on a second. Is this to water crops? Right, this is... Oh, look at the water inside there. You can place it on the floor. That's actually got full water. You can select seeds. Oh my god, radish. This is kind of like teaching us here how to, to plant. We've got some recipes, as you can see. But we can kind of use the hoe and dig up anywhere. And then to get the water, we need to get this. Lift it up. And then I place on here and water. Oh, wow. So you can fill buckets up with water. That's so good. That is a withered crop, so we need to pull that one out. Let's place that down. And we've got some recipes. It's getting dark, so I'm quite worried. Uh, I don't know if things are going to come at night time. Uh, navigate through, locate the workbench. Okay, we also need a straw bedding, right? So I can sleep. We go to build. Uh, we need some rope. Okay, okay. Grill rack, sandals, workbench. We can place this down. I might kind of sleep around here. Just because I'm close to the water, close to food. I can make a little shelter as well. Let's just put that down for now. That's unlocked loads more stuff. Nice. Uh, we need some more rope. Oh, we need some more. Oh, no. Come on. Please. It's getting dark. We've got a torch, though. Oh, yeah. We have, we have got a torch. I need some of that common rush. Is there any at all? Kind of hope nothing spawns. Hopefully, we're quite safe in this area. Is that a campfire? We can cook. Oh, my God. We can cook. We can put fuel in here. We can actually make better food. Oh, we can cook our mushrooms, guys. God, it's really dark, though. Now, I'm going to have to venture out to get more of this fiber because I can't see for uh, for one. But I can't make the straw bed because we just don't have enough. Destroy it. We got some chicken. We actually got some chicken meat. And obviously, we do have chickens around here as well. Being in darkness was create a mental burden. Crafting torches, bonfires. Okay. Sleeping near a campfire bed to quickly pass through the night. Oh, no. So when you're near light, you feel a bit better. So if we put our torch on as well. We can't make the straw bed. We need two more pieces of common rush because it's so dark. I kind of can't see any. Oh, we've got some here. Let's go. There's the campfire. If we go to build, let's place this here. There we go. And now I can sleep. Oh, we feel better. Sleep, and then we can go up until, let's say, 7 a.m. Oh, there we go, guys. So our physique's going down nutrition. We need to have some food. Uh, I've got a club here. Shall we kill some chicken? Let's try it out. I'm sorry, female clucker. It's survival, okay? I need your meat. Oh, there it is. And we've got some feathers as well. Eggs. A whole chicken. Your clothing bag is full. Oh, can we make more. We've got some recipes. Can we use them? Yes, we can. We've got some tables and chairs. Nice. Chicken manure. Can we put this on our crops? No. Oh, no. I did not mean to do that, guys. <laughs> I just ate the goddamn manure. Oh, no. I was trying to use it. That, that's not good. Let's eat quickly. But we are poisoned. Seven seconds. We take damage every one and a half. Oh, okay. But our health is currently one. Okay, we're okay. Poisoned still for 59 seconds. Oh, guys, we poisoned ourselves. This is not a good start, is it? This is, we've actually got four of these. They are stacked. That's like five minutes of being poisoned. It looks like the fire's done as well. It's charred. Oh, no, we don't want to eat. Oh, we've got some charcoal. Remember, time is crucial. Overcooked food. Oh, we overcooked it. Oh, my God. Health is still kind of full because every time it goes down, it's going back up because of our nutrition. So as long as we eat, we are kind of fine. 
But we burnt our food, we poisoned ourselves. Yeah, it's not looking good. Let's break these and see what we get. Okay, loads more meat. Chicken meat. We've got building recipes. Wow. A lot of stuff there. To craft a stone hammer. Why do we need a stone hammer? Is this to build build? Oh, okay. Let's craft that then. We'll get the rope. We need the workbench. Okay, let's go over to it. Uh, so if we open. There we go. We get access to all of this new stuff right here. We can make sticks and we can make stone hammer. Now that we've done the stick, we've unlocked a lot of more stuff as well. I mean, look, we can get a furnace here. We need some clay. Of course, we can do the clay. Oh, a bedroll made from linen rope and fire lick. It's warmer than the other one. So it keeps us warm at night. So... I'm going to make a better bed, make a little shelter and buy the crops there, and get a little set up. We're still poisoned, but it's nearly gone. Our health's still fine. Let's set up a little base, so then we can go and explore, and we know we've got a safe place to come back. A little shelter. So, the clay. we we'll just dig it up. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. This is going to allow us to make the furnace, and then we can make copper bars. Seems like you found some clay. It's great. You can use it to make pottery. Hmm. So we need wet clay. How do we make wet clay? Um, is this actually gonna be so detailed like that? If we fill with water, I'm gonna try and tip it on the clay and then harvest it. Just kind of having a little mess around here. Can we? No. Wet clay requires water, but we did have the water. Do we have to hold the bucket and then do this? Or do we just need to stand by the water and then do it? No. Oh, look, look at this, guys. We're making a little foundation here. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to have some steps going up, and we'll have it raised up a little bit. It's kind of high, but it's all good. Oh, look. There's a little bunny rabbit over here. Cute. Cute. Rabbit nest. We don't want to be touching that. That's not fair. But look, we've got loads of more materials over this side. I'm exploring a little bit. But our bag is super full. Um, I'm kind of tempted to make a storage chest. I also want to make a bonfire. Because this is going to be... I might do some crops there. Nice little fireplace like here. Because then I can open. We can put some fuel in here. And then I can cook the meat. But we kind of want it have this as soon as we don't want to let it burn right take it there we go oh there we go you go over to the bucket of water and press craft and we can now make wet clay let's go and here look we can make clay bottles a bowl and there we go we can make the furnace oh it's really dark but i want this i want it kind of in the house you know oh there's enemies there was enemies in the mist no 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 i don't know where i am i'm lost where was the old bed? I'm sure we've still got it. Um, up here? Yeah, let's just sleep for now. Right, the quest this morning, to get as much fiber as possible. Ooh, most of the time you must hold a stone hammer to build something. I'm guessing it's one just to build some kind of... Yep, yeah, stone stairs, look at this. Look at that. We did it, guys, we're learning to build. We can now get up here into the chest. Treasure as well. Oh my goodness. We got some good stuff there. I think a lot of it fell on the floor too. So it's still kind of little things to help you. Sitting on a chair or a tree stump can boost your HP and slightly recover your spirit. Oh. A stone stool. Sit. It's nice to sit down for a while. Uh, we did actually get a recipe here as well for that. Let's pick that up. Your cloth bag is full. This is getting crazy, you know. We got a copper pickaxe. Oh, let's go. Let's get rid of the stone one. We'll replace that with this, uh, the copper. Let's go. And then we'll get the recipe. We'll learn that. Scarecrow. Everything has durability, though. Tools and weapons will get destroyed. When your stamina is low, your hunger and thirst go down so much faster. We did it. We got the recipe for it. Did we get the wall on the stool? Did we get a recipe for... Or up here? Did we get a recipe up here? For doing it? Yeah, we did. 
So every time you complete one of these, you do get a recipe. So we need to be getting those. And we've got a stone fence. We need water. Oh no. We're dying. The crops are growing. They need a water. Oh, there's a lot to do. But I wanted to kind of make a, a nice little base. Oh, the building is really nice in this. Um, I think, what we're, can we make a little ramp? Some like wooden stairs. Let's go. Then we'll do a wooden wall there. Then what about a door? It's not pretty, all right. I put it on the foundation because then it's a bit stronger. You can actually put things inside there. So if I want to put like all the construction things inside, um, you can. But we should have probably put a window there. You know, this is just, we'll do something bigger and better. That's just a little bit of the, the building, all right? Demolish your building. This is what I wanted to know. Hold tab on the hammer. Ah, okay. This is what I wanted. I wanted to know how to do this if I made a mistake, but there we go, look. We actually got a little tutorial. We know how to do it now. Oh, that's that's really good to know. That's really good to know. And we got a copper helmet. And we also got some Lunar Knight. Maybe it could be do something special. We've got a recipe as well that I just can't pick up. Stone Pillar. Nice. I can have a little mess around my house and make it better because I, I made a few mistakes. But it looks like all this stuff has spawned back. All the, um, like the fiber here for the, the rope. This is, seems to grow and come back. Maybe after a day or so. But look at the enemies over there in the fog. There's something over there. We've got we've to gotta fight them. What is also here? Chickens are here. Scarecrow. We've got some crates that we can break open. Wow. This would be a good place to actually build. Like, Look at it. It's got defense walls. It's like a little castle that someone's built. And if we build some steps to get up there, there's another treasure chest up there. So we do have to do... There's even a fire in there. This is a nice little place here. Bruh. Oh! Oh my god, there's some snakes! Oh my god! Oh my god, okay. We got we got a snake. Oh my god, snake meat. Right, we need storage. Storage is terrible. This is really bad. Yeah, be careful when you break open the crates. There could be snakes in there or any monster. And there we go, guys. We've just added another straw bag to our uh, inventory. So the one that we had, I think, was cloth. But we've crafted a bigger and a better one. So as you can see, we've got a straw bag which holds 25. So we do have more slots now. The cloth bag here only holds 15. More space. That's what I needed. So every time you sleep, you actually set a respawn point. So if you die or when you come back into the game, that's where you're going to spawn. So, sleeping's very similar to Minecraft, basically. Um, I kind of want to build... Oh my... Oh my god, look at that, guys! I didn't even realise. Look how amazing that is. But over there is the fog and where the monsters are. But that looks super cool. But as uh, you can see up here, there's actually... Oh, is this the fog place? Yeah, there's some different kind of trees up there. Then how are we going to lift the fog? Oh yeah, lots of place to mine down there. We've got a little forest here. Is he a water source? If so, this is... Yeah, there we go. A water source. Maybe we could like live in the forest here. It's not super far away from where we were. Now, that's what you call a foundation, guys. Look at that. So, we have water source. We can come through here, go up the hill. I'm going to have some staircases right here. Let me build that right now. Um, we've got to kind of have this... Let's have a look. Does that work? So we can kind of get up into the house like that. Oh, nice. I made it quite decent size. I might... We've got a lot of wood. A lot of wood. I might come out a little bit more here. The building is really amazing in this game. It feels really smooth. Really fun. I can imagine... Look at that foundation. I can imagine you're building some really, really cool stuff with, with this. So this is a 4x4. Uh, I think this is a decent size for me. Oh, no, I don't like that. I don't like how they've done that. But let's destroy them. I want them to go the other way. Because the OCD, you know. So we kind of want to rotate it that way. There we go. Foundation's done. We need a drink. No worries. We've got a water source right here. I'm not sure if it's going to ever disappear. But right now, we've got it. I'm going to eat all of that chicken to keep me going. Because I need to get a bed in here. And have some kind of shelter. But I need to get some kind of door. Last time. We've actually got a proper bed. Oh, let's go. Look at that. We've actually got a bed. 
Yeah, we've got no shelter. I know. We're gonna we're gonna try and do the walls now. Physique's gone up. Let's go. If I do a wall, I need to see the same height because I feel like we might be able to make this a bit lower. The door is lower, and I don't know why. Guys, there we go. We did it. We did it, baby. You can extend and shorten them. And look, we've got a little window. And we've done a wall above the door. Oh, let's go. I was really wondering what was going on there. I think I'm going to do like a double window there. And the same is going to be on this side. Now, yeah, it's not going to be the strongest of houses. If anyone comes to just tries to attack me and destroy it, it they're probably going to succeed because it's only wooden. But, you know, some defense spikes, something might keep us safe, surely. But, guys, look at this. Let's go inside. The little tour. We've got some windows. That, I mean, my person can't exactly see out of them. But, you know, we've got some daylight in there. We can have a little peek around. We just need a roof, and we are, we are good to go. Now, the roof's a little bit tricky. I never know how to do roofs very well. Look at that. We can have a little table. A little table and a chair. Oh, my God. Remember, sitting down is actually quite important in this game. You do get a little bit of a... Oh, storage box. Yes, please. Oh, this is becoming home. This is becoming home. All I need is, like, the furnace in here with some wet clay and the workbench. And this place is going to look proper. There's the, the, wood, the wooden barricade. We need a lot of um, rope for this to keep us safe. And maybe, like, fence it off and things like that as well. So if you want to go upstairs and do, like, a, an old room upstairs extend you need beams to support the weight and obviously we've got a foundation here so we can have a lot of stuff in here and i think that's gonna really um can we lift the bed up there we go i want it like right on the back wall there Ta -da! if i ever want to go upstairs and extend i guess we do need a floor above us we can't just have pure roof but i feel like there's gonna be some gaps and holes in here so like water might leak through if I go into the bed, it does actually say it's no longer open air. So that does count as some kind of shelter. Which is good. We need some light in here as well. I don't even know where you'd begin. I just don't... I'm not very good when it comes to, to roofing. Rather than messing with the straw roof, I'm just gonna kind of keep it as it is. It's literally a wooden box. On kind of like a cliff here. We've got a great view down there. We've got water source, we've got trees, I can do a little farm, make a little path going up, but look at that, I think that's kind of cool. We've got a place to sleep, we've got shelter, protection from the wind and rain, and yeah, this, this is perfect for me. Can I pick my workbench up? Yep, we'll take this. It's going in the house, baby. I think the workbench should go maybe, there we go. Did I ever craft the furnace? I don't think I did because we need the wet clay, right? Oh, there's the wet clay. So I should now be able to build a furnace. Oh, we need more wet clay. Okay. Uh, craft. Wet clay one, two. Kind of make a bit of that. More rope, of course. We can finally get the furnace. Yes, let's go and get this inside. I'm going to have that tucked in the corner. Can we get some kind of lighting in here? Let me see. Be nice to have some kind of torch. We could put a torch on this, apparently. Hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Can we light it? Oh, yes, let's go. Shut the door. Oh, my God, we can actually do it. We'll do another one over this side. Oh, look at this shelf life. The, y the yams are about to expire, so we've got to eat all of those. There we go. We've only got a few days left on the food. That's not good. Now, can I put the torch... In there. That's so cool that you can do that. Can we not like this anymore? Stop. Look at that. We've got three torches. So at night time, we've got a bit of light. A bit of warmth maybe as well. We've got storage here now, which I need to stop. Oh my god. Okay, get... It's not massive, but it's good to keep away the stuff like... The bones and stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing with them. Copper helmet. Bone fragments. The oak nut. Obviously, we have some common resources that we need to use. Like the wooden stuff. Oh, a lot of the food starting to expire, which is not good. We've actually got a lot of these. Um, I love that you can press sort as well and sort out the inventory. I love the sort button. And you can also put everything into the bag or put everything into the box and stack identical items. So if I've got any more of those, boom, boom. That is, I love that feature. So good. I think every game needs it. Even a sort type here. So if you want just to find food, 
if you want to find seed. So good you can rename. Love it. But guys, that is all I've got time for. That has been Pathless Woods. I love it. What a game this is going to be. If you like cozy games, but with a survival twist where you need to look after your person, you know, eat and drink and stay warm. But also, I've had a great time just building, foraging. This has been super cozy, even though I am kind of like surviving as well. And I bet there's so much more to explore. If you want to see more, please do let me know down below. Uh, but yeah, thank you to the developers and the publishers for working with me and allowing me to create a sponsored video for you guys. This is a game that I'm going to keep playing for sure. Can't wait for the release. This is a game that I'd play my own time. I like this kind of genre. But guys, please smash the like button, subscribe for more, and thank you all for watching. Stay safe and stay cozy.